welcome back to Metal Like Art. My name is Nikki, and today I'm going to be opening up a haul, and it's a small haul. Um, I did this for my birthday, and I have been a shopping man. I know I have not have to buy anything, but it's my birthday in two weeks. <laughs> so I got this in the mail, and first I'm going to like insert a rant right here, and you can skip. I'll even give you like a timer to tell you where th this picks up again. But first I want to rant about the company Jer Jerry's Art Rama. I've been a faithful um, a customer of theirs. Um, and then they started sending um, my things in these kind of envelopes. And every single time they're busted and they're wide open and I'm just really a afraid for my stuff and I said you guys are you gonna start putting them back in boxes and they said yes so this particular time the bag was so bad that it was taped by someone and I ended up just throwing it away but I do have everything everything is here I think and accounted for but um, this is not good they have switched what they're shipping in now and I think that's not going to save them money if people are going to be returning things because things are damaged or lost or whatever. So, and a rant. <laughs> so I'm not going to shop with them anymore. Um, I will find another art store, um, and I think I'm going to choose Stick Flick because they're always in cardboard. I do find a lot on Amazon, which is in cardboard. Um, and even like these kind of pouches would have been fine. This was in that bag over there. So this would have been nice because it's thick and it would have handled things well. Um, but here is what I bought and I created quite a bit so I wanted to get some more paper and I got the fluid 6x6 six six because I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, it's Malamic Art and I actually create pretty much daily so I got some this paper. I have Stonehenge paper. I have literally huge sheets of this stuff, but I guess I'm just too lazy to go cut it up. So I just grabbed this for a couple bucks. Um, I also bought another one of these. I went right through this one, and I've been using the chipboard um, to tape stuff onto now because this chipboard is really nice and thick. Um, so this is the, um, the cheaper version, and this is the cotton version. So I got the six by six of this one, and they're pretty much the same price. And I wanted to try, so I got the small ones of the mixed media toned gray and toned tan um, books, and these pages are really thick. Let me tell you, this is thick paper. Ooh, look, it's coming right off. So this is going to be nice for any media. I want to try and see if they're going to warp right away. So I may just use this one since it came out. And um, I want to try some gouache on it. I don't know, just for, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So I, as you may know, or you probably don't know if you're new, but you may know if you've been watching me for a while, I've been collecting Lucas 1862. And this particular time, you can get free shipping if you um, order up to $35 worth of stuff. So I threw these in, so they are half hands. I'm usually, hold on a second. I usually buy the 24 mil um, tubes, but this particular time I just wanted to have some to try. Um, so I got the gold, the dioxazin violet, a Gamboge um, and a Caput Mortem. And I'm really excited to try these. I think I probably will end up getting, minus the gold, I'll probably end up getting the bigger tubes of these three. So why don't we go ahead and try them on this paper. And I probably am going to do a time lapse real quick and I'll be back. So here we are with the 
four new paints that I bought. I'm going to start with the Dioxine Violet, which should be really strong. And it is. Hmm. It's got a little, little bit of um, texture to it. See that? Kind of silty. Just different than core because cores are core um, has a very translucent dioxazine violet and this is kaput mortem deep and it it is pretty it's made with PR 101 and PBK 11 and that PR 101 is giving it that nice beautiful granulation and one color I don't think I have and maybe I have one more of these somewhere but I don't have a lot of gamboge I have maybe one other one and I couldn't even tell you which um, brand maybe Daniel Smith I'm not sure but this one's extremely transparent so if you're looking for a beautiful very buttery um, yellow transparent gamboge this is the one and here's the gold I was very curious about it may take some working this is a pearlescent pigment it's called so this is a not as strong as I thought it might be, but that's okay. It's so pretty. Look how it shimmers. I'm not a big um, metallic person, but it is neat to see those <laughs> those um, pigments settle. They're still activated. They're still trying to figure out where they want to settle. It's kind of neat. I don't know if you'd see that. I'll have to do a little slow-mo for you to see that. So um, I brought out what that one piece of the gray mixed media. And I'm going to bring this up and let you take a look. It's neat. Very shimmery and interesting how it moves. I don't know if you can see that, but I hope you can. So why don't I go ahead and try all of these on here. And we'll see if this paper bows under all of the wet stuff. This is a vellum. So it, it is bowing to a tiny bit, but not a lot. So this can take wet media pretty well. I was actually pretty concerned that it was going to be all warpy. But it looks like it's going to be just fine. There's some regular water. Yeah. Okay. So we get some good paper. Um, actually, the uh, the fluid. Oops. See, there's a kitty here. Get that out of there. The fluid paper um, actually bowed more than the. See that? It's got rounded. I've I've know that this paper will lay flat again, but it does round. So you may have to dry in between very heavy wet layers. So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I think these colors will be great for an addition to my collection of 
my massive collection. I, I, I try not to feel ashamed about it because I love it so much. But it is kind of shameful to have so much paint and not use every single one all the time. But I do kind of do a rotation um, through them all. I usually keep my Daniel Smiths out here. This, these are my favorite colors of Daniel Smiths that I keep right on my table. So, okay. <laughs> um, I don't need to validate myself too much, I guess. Um, so this is really cool. I think this paper would be great to um, draw on and, and do some wet washes and um, maybe more opaque, maybe like a gouache. So I hope you enjoyed this video, this little tiny haul that I had. And um, thanks for joining me and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.